Click here if you're having a problem viewing the photos on a mobile device. San Francisco, protesters in Golden Gate Park toppled statues of Father Junipero Serra, Francis Scott Key and President Ulysses S. Grant on Friday night, spurring a national debate over the complex legacies of those historical figures amid a broader movement to remove what critics say are monuments to white supremacy. A group of roughly 100 people pulled down the monuments displayed in the park's music concourse near the de Young Museum and California Academy of Sciences, an eyewitness said. Police were called to the area just after 8 p.m., and said people in the group threw objects at the officers. The crowd dispersed around 9.30 with no arrests or reports of injuries. One video posted to Twitter showed the group using a strap to topple the statue of Sarah. Photos also showed people vandalized a monument to Spanish writer Miguel Cervantes, the author of Don Quixote. And Parks officials said the group vandalized several other features in the music concourse as well, including sculptures, benches and a fountain. The toppled statues were removed by park crews late Friday night and are now being kept in storage, a San Francisco Recreation and Park Department spokesperson said. By Saturday morning, city workers were busy power washing the statue's granite pedestals, with some still showing anti-police messages. The base for Sarah's statue identified it as Ohlone Land. Just a few drops of paint remained on a statue depicting the fictional characters Don Quixote and his sidekick Sancho Panza looking up to the bust of Cervantes. Sarah is known as the founder and leader of the mission system that helped create modern California. Key wrote, the Star Spangled Banner, and Grant led the Union Army to victory in the Civil War before becoming president. But the subjugation of black slaves, in Key's case, of Native Americans, in Sarah's, and Grant's seesaw history with both, is another piece of each man's legacy pointing to why they were targeted Friday night. In a statement Saturday, San Francisco Mayor London Breed said she understood the very real pain in this country rooted in our history of slavery and oppression. But Breed did not weigh in on the debate over memorializing Sarah, Key and Grant, focusing instead on the broader destruction at the park. Every dollar we spend cleaning up this vandalism takes funding away from actually supporting our community, including our African-American community," Breed said. I say this not to defend any particular statue or what it represents, but to recognize that when people take action in the name of my community, they should actually involve us. Breed continued, I have asked the Arts Commission, the Human Rights Commission, and the Recreation and Parks Department to work with the community to evaluate our public art and its intersection with our country's racist history.